covering the villages for you. Here's Jill Winters and the VNN Lifestyle News Team. A group of villagers aren't afraid of no ghosts, and they are ready to prove it. Plus, the holiday shopping season continues on an earlier trend. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, it might be the Flash Mob Fun Addicts who are preparing to perform their Ghostbusters routine later this week. The music, I wanted something upbeat because I know when I go to some of these shows, you know, and entertainers come up there and some of the music, if I don't recognize it, I'm kind of, mm, unless it's something really catchy. So I thought it has to be something catchy, something someone's familiar with. So that's why I landed on Ghostbusters. But I also mixed it with a, another song in the end, which I think adds a lot of spunk to it and then I brought in different characters so we have a lot of moving parts now. We're going to have a Stay Puft Man, we have four Ghostbusters, we have a paramilitary and we actually have a roaming ghost and a general. <laughs> We're doing it for Halloween even though Ghostbusters isn't exactly Halloween. It's, I've sort of kept, everybody kept saying well we should have a flash mob all year and I was like what? <laughs> no this is enough because uh, you know, I put my heart, soul, and I'm losing sleep over what we're going to do and thinking about things. So I'm just like, no, this is enough. But they worked so hard and they pulled it together really, really nicely, you know, and it's, it's fun. They'll be performing around 6 p.m. Friday at Edna's on the Green, around 3 p.m. Saturday during the hometown Halloween at Brownwood Paddock Square, and around 6.30 p.m. Tuesday during Scooter's Monster Bash at Spanish Springs Town Square. Take a look at the Only in the Villages feature starting on the front page of Thursday's Daily Sun for more on this Ghostbusters flash mob. Black Friday is the busiest shopping day of the year and already stores big and small are rolling out sales before that. According to the National Retail Federation's Consumer Survey conducted by Prosper Insights and Analytics, consumers are expected to spend about $875 on gifts, decorations, food and other holiday items, which is $42 more than last year. The survey says about 43% of shoppers started their holiday shopping before November this year, and the early jump in the holiday shopping season has been trending for about a decade. Best Buy in Lady Lake is starting its Black Friday deals this week, with Black Friday early access available to members Friday through Sunday. Several small businesses in this community get lots of foot traffic on Black Friday, and they see even more business the day after, which is Small Business Saturday. Rustic Rose Home Accents and Gifts owner in Brownwood, Rosalind Housley, has dedicated a section in the store to Christmas decor. She says they will start offering Black Friday deals once November rolls around, but she says they kill it on Small Business Saturday. She starts ordering Christmas items in January and adds in more merchandise over the summer. Right now, snow globes are a popular item, and she says customers enjoy their favorite little shops and they come out to support them. After this short break, a villager raves about his new ride. I'm Daria here with your Recreation Roundup. If you need something to do on Saturday, October 28th, stop by these Resident Lifestyle Volunteer Showcases. The Village's Art League's Fall Art Extravaganza, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Eisenhower Recreation. The Giving Clubs Showcase, sponsored by the Acknowledging Acts of Kindness and It Takes a Village Clubs, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Izell Recreation. The Gem and Mineral Society's Christmas in October sale, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Rohan Recreation. You want to enjoy your home, we know. To live well is to eat well. Knox Restorations knows you want a beautiful kitchen to enjoy your favorite meals with your family. Licensed, bonded, and insured, we can make it happen. Bathroom? We work with trusted brands and American-made materials for a squeaky clean result. <laughs> Family owned and operated for over 14 years, experienced craftsmen and design consultants. We stand on it. We'll make you look like a million. It's up to you what you tell your neighbors. And much more. So relax. Docs Restorations will take care of it all for you. One company, one source, one solution.
When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. This is VNN. A shiny convertible caught the attention of Kathleen and Richard Mercadante while they were at Brownwood Paddock Square, and Kathleen quickly fell in love with it. This is a 76 Mercedes-Benz 450 SL. Walking around, just looking at cars, um, I spotted this and was walking around it. The owner came out from the restaurant and uh, we had a chat and I ended up with the car. The body is, uh, there's no change. The engine, I've had a little bit of work done. It still needs uh, quite a bit of work. The interior, I did myself. I changed out a lot of the leather, the old dry leather I took out. Uh, I replaced the radio with a Bluetooth radio and I replaced the speakers. The seats are basically original, but all the panels I replaced. The engine is a 270. Uh, I believe it's a 190 horsepower, three-speed automatic. It's a very solid ride. Uh, it corners very well with no tilt, no lean. There are no sounds, no rattles. It just, uh, it's an, an enjoyable drive. Everybody turns to watch it go by. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a classic. I like to take it out at dusk with the roof off and just cruise. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of power in it for me for my enjoyment. Despite being more of a hot rod guy, Richard is enjoying his convertible and you can learn even more about it in the Love My Ride section in Saturday's Daily Sun. Here's your VNN five day weather. From the WVLG Weather Center, this is Christopher James with your VNN five day forecast. Friday's high is gonna be 85, Saturday 86, Sunday 87. Low temperatures through the weekend and into early next week in the mid 60s. Mostly sunny days this weekend. Then there's a 40% chance of showers on Monday. Every year, the community of Fruitland Park has an Adopt a Teacher program. This year, the Kiwanis Club of Lady Lake chose first grade teacher, Miss Aaliyah Perone. Last week, club members visited her classroom to present them with some much needed supplies. It's so exciting because we spend so much of our own money and it's nice to not have to do that. Um, it's just, it's a blessing to have the community support us as teachers and as a school and they very graciously bought the, some of the things on my Amazon wish list. I'm just very blessed that the Kiwanis Club adopted me and I'm very thankful and my kids will be so excited about all the fun things that we can do with the supplies we have. Instead of having teachers pay their own money, we try to offset those by making a donation through the program we call Adopt, Adopt a Teacher. It means the world to us because this is what we do. The Kiwanis organization the main purpose is to serve the children of the world and the children of our community. And there's nothing more important than making sure the kids in the community get what they need to thrive and survive in this world. If you're out there and you want to help the community, join Kiwanis, because that's why we're here. You have a good time, you serve the community, and have fun doing it. Says the club spent about $1,400 on supplies that should get Miss Perone's class through the remainder of the year. To join this group, you can visit ladylakekiwanis.org. Up next, you'll learn about some resident swimmers ready to put on a show. I'm Daria here with your Recreation Roundup. Bring your grandchildren to Truman Recreation for some spooky bocce golf on Monday, October 30th from 6 to 7 p.m. Registration is required. And before you go trick-or-treating on Tuesday, October 31st, hop on the Lake Sumter Line for a Halloween Pirate Cruise. Cruise times are 4, 4.30 and 5 p.m. and registration is required.
you get a hearing test, you should also have what's called speech and noise testing. Most of our patients will tell you they have trouble understanding people when there's a lot of ambient noise. So if I don't test you in noise, how do I quantify your handicap? How do I pick the right technology to overcome that? So speech and noise is a big part of our test, but guess what? It takes two minutes. It's simple, it's effective, it's scientific. We do it, I'm happy to report that. The other thing that's huge is a cognitive health screening. We know that untreated hearing loss damages the brain. It alters structures of the brain. Well, if I put hearing devices on you and I get the signal to the brain, but the brain is changed, right? That impacts how well the treatment works. So when I screen cognition, when we screen cognition, we get this information about uh, three different domains of your cognitive health. And then we test you again in four months, right? So I treat your hearing loss, you go through your adaptation and your rehab process. You come back in four months and I put you back on that device. And guess what? We're seeing improvements in memory and executive function. So not only do we listen to your problem and treat it effectively, we're also really big about outcomes and, and validating them. You're living the dream. Fun times and great tunes. Jack hammering the rock and roll. Delighting up the dance in R&B. It's your village's house party on your village's soundtrack. WVLG. Best mix of music. The songs you love. Your village's soundtrack. WVLG. The ability to move in unison along with a group while in the pool takes an attention to detail and special focus. Just ask members of the Aquatic Dancers Synchronized Swimming Group. This talented group has been busy preparing for two charity performances happening this weekend. Donna Gostaitis says they are raising funds to support Village's Honor Flight in the Maui Wildfire Relief. They have been rehearsing for more than a year. The performance will have a Hawaiian theme. Group co-director Trish Gutches loves synchronized swimming, saying it helped her heal from a broken femur earlier this year. And she says the team supported her and the companionship they all share is what motivates her to keep coaching every year. If you are planning to attend, just bring along a foldable chair that you can set up along the pool deck at Laurel Manor Recreation. Their performance will be at 1.30 p.m. Saturday and 1.30 on Sunday, again at the Laurel Manor Sports Pool. Attendance is free, but donations are encouraged to support Village's Honor Flight and Maui Wildfire Relief. Here are two community events happening this weekend. A fall art extravaganza will be at Eisenhower Recreation Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. This event is hosted by the Village's Art League, and it's going to feature more than 70 resident artists. And over at Rohan Recreation, the Village's Gem and Mineral Society is going to be having a Christmas in October sale from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday. There's going to be chance drawings every half hour. You can purchase unique gems and minerals and even watch artists' demonstrations. Both of these are free and open to the public. We'll be back with more news from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Village's Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. This hurricane preparedness tip from VNN and WVLG is brought to you by The Villages Insurance. Hi, this is WVLG Senior Forecaster Dave Toll. Supplies are exceptionally important during hurricane season, and what types should you have? At least three days supply of bottled water, or a minimum of one gallon per person per day. At least a three day supply of non perishable, easy to prepare food, manual can opener, flashlights, and extra batteries, multi purpose tools such as a Swiss Army knife, cell phones with chargers, and car charger adapters, battery powered or hand cranked 
crank radio and extra batteries, family and emergency contact information, extra cash, a map of the area in case GPS services are down. Keep listening for more information, including pets, tips, supplies, detailed information to keep on hand during the hurricane season. Presented by the Villages Insurance, and thank you for listening to your Villages soundtrack, WVLG. Going on now at Cart World Golf Cars, the summer clearance. All new 2023 club cars and garrias must go. Buy now and save big. Model year and discounts up to $1,250. Whether you're in the market for a two, four, or six seater with gas, electric, or lithium power, Cart World has it. There's never been a better time to buy. Hurry, don't miss out. When these cars are gone, so are these prices. All season long, the Village's high school girls bowling team has shown itself to be the class of District 4. And on Wednesday, they proved that once again by winning a district title and qualifying two individual bowlers for the state tournament. In a winner-take-all Baker game against Claremont Eastridge, the Buffalo collectively had a 221 game to beat the Knights and claim their second straight district title Wednesday at Lakeside Lanes in Tiberias. The Villages jumped out to 295 pin lead after game one on the first part of the day, finishing the morning competition in first and continuing that positive momentum. Juniors Logan Edelstein and Lexi Perry also finished in first and second place in the individual standings. Logan had a 562 series to earn a gold medal and Lexi shot a 513 for a silver medal. Lexi admits she was averaging around 100 just two years ago when she joined the team, so this ending was not something she could have even dreamed of. The Buffalo team lost its first two Baker games against East Ridge, but they won the next three to be able to hoist that trophy. The team will now move on to next week's FHSAA Bowling State Championship Tournament at Boardwalk Bowl in Orlando. Last year, they finished in the top 12. Lexi says they have all really bonded, so she feels like they are a family going into the state tournament. For more on this event and their winning results, take a look at the sports section in Thursday's Daily Sun. Here's a festive option for you this weekend. Brown and Brown Farms and Country Store in Oxford is having their Fall Fest and Mega Maze right now. Hours are 5 to 10 p.m. Fridays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Saturdays, and noon to 6 p.m. Sundays through November 5th. This event includes food trucks, entertainment, a corn maze, and other activities. On Saturday, they're also having a sunset at the farm where guests can enjoy the sunset from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. And they're also having a not-so-scary Halloween event from noon to 6 p.m. Sunday. Brown and Brown Farms is located at 13940 U.S. Highway 301 in Oxford. It's time now for a brief commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. More Village's lifestyle news is coming up right after this on VNN. Your Village's soundtrack is here for you throughout hurricane season and severe weather season. Dahlia, now a Category 4 hurricane. This WVLG hurricane update is brought to you by Villages Insurance. Please listen carefully. And we're also going to be joined by our forecasters, Dave Toll and Christopher James. If you take a look at your home here in the Villages, that's getting almost two-thirds of the way the up rainfall towards the In the Villages, between one and four inches, and the wind speeds we expect going between 30 and 40 miles an hour during the brunt of the storm. This hurricane update, we have the information you need when you need it. Stay tuned to WVLG. Nine one one. Do you need police, fire, or ambulance? Our operators are required to react to every nine one one call as if someone's life is depending on it. They'll send a deputy to the address where the call was generated. This takes the deputy's time away from what could be an actual emergency. Hi, I'm Sheriff Bill Farmer. If you accidentally dial nine one one, don't hang up. Stay on the line. Answer a few questions and let the operator move on to the next call. Please don't hang up.
Clap your hands and stop your feet. Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie, here with your Entertainment Beat. The Village's Entertainment is delighted to announce a box office update. All tickets at Lake Sumter will be transitioning to our new box office location behind the sales office beginning November 1st. Keep an eye out for signage if you're visiting starting next Wednesday, and box office locations at Brownwood and Spanish Springs will remain. You can purchase tickets at box office locations for shows, including our newest on-sale lineup that was released this week. In time for the holidays for our country fans, we have two fantastic shows going on sale this week, including Nashville Country Christmas, which will be at Savannah Center December 17th, and Holly Dolly Christmas on December 21st. Majesty of Rock, The Music of Journey is returning to Savannah Center December 13th. Another fan favorite, Eagle Mania, will be back at Savannah Center on December 20th. And for those ready to rock at Savannah Center, Absolute Queen is going on sale for a January 9th performance date. Entertainment has gone to the dogs. Mutt's Gone Nuts will take over Savannah Center January 12th. And calling all Whose Line Is It Anyway fans, Colin Mockery and Brad Sherwood, Scared Scriptless, are coming to Savannah Center January 16th and 17th. Once again, we will start selling tickets at the new box office location behind the Lake Sumter Landing Sales Center beginning November 1st. Be sure to mark your calendars. That's your entertainment beat for today, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Natalie. Live musical entertainment, of course, is available here every day of the year. And these are the bands ready to perform for you Friday. That's all the news we have for you now. Pick up a copy of Friday's Daily Sun to learn about upcoming fundraising dances. Get out there and enjoy the village's lifestyle.
Our community has over 25,000 senior citizens, and unfortunately, thousands have been victims of fraud. There are things you can do to protect yourself from being victimized. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Fraud is the one crime you can truly avoid if you know what to look for. To learn more, go to your sheriff's website. Your sheriff's coming together to protect our seniors and our communities. If you have a hearing loss but won't wear a hearing aid, we have exciting news for you. It's the Lyric Invisible Hearing System. It's placed deep in your ear canal, it's completely undetectable, and the insertion process takes only minutes with no surgery, medication, or pain involved. You wear 24 hours a day, there's no maintenance and no batteries to change. You can sleep, shower, and exercise with it. And practically the time it's taken us to tell you about this hearing device, we just fit this patient. Call right now and find out if Lyric is right for you.